हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अधेश अकेडमी फ्रेंड्स वी हैव अर्लियर लर्न अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ लेवीज विच आर देयर इन द जीएसटी वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट इन द नॉर्मल सिचुएशन व्हेन एवर यू आर क्लियरिंग एनी गुड्स और प्रोवाइडिंग एनी सर्विसेज यू मस्ट फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज द क्लासिफिकेशन वॉट इज द वैल्यू वट आर द एग्जामेशन नोटिफिकेशन then we have to also find out if there is any input tax credit which is available with us and then only we can calculate what is our tax liability now this is a very very complex procedure so the government has provided a facility of composition levy for the small tax payers where the process are very much simplified and we are going to learn today about this complex levy so first of all the authority the authority for complex levy comes from section 10 of the central gst act and the corresponding state gst acts this is applicable for the companies whose turnover in the preceding financial year has not exceeded rupees 1 crore or 75 lakhs in the special category states like arunachal pradesh assam manipur meghalaya mizoram nagaland sikkim tripura or himachal pradesh however this limit has now been revised to 1.5 crore so those supplying these goods can now also supply the services up to rupees 5 lakhs or 10% of the turnover whichever is higher that means suppose your turnover is 50 lakhs in that situation you can take 10% of that that means up to 5 lakhs of services also you can provide suppose your turnover is only 20 lakhs then up to 2 lakh rupees of services you can provide and still you can avail the benefit of composition levy so this provision has been recently added the second important aspect is to know that composition scheme is a optional scheme that means you can always decide to pay the tax as a regular tax payer and go out of this composition levy scheme you should opt for this scheme only when you find that it is beneficial to you the next important thing is that it should be made operational from the first day of the next month the new entrants must file the return in the form gstr4 only for that portion of the quarter from which this scheme has become operational and they shall file the return as a normal tax payer for the period which is before this now the rate of composition levy is quite less it is 1% for the manufacturer and also 1% for the traders earlier the rate was higher for manufacturer now it is same 1% for both the category of composition dealers there is also 5% composition levy on the turnover of the food or any other article for human consumption or any drink other than the alcoholic liquor for human consumption however this 5% benefit is hardly useful nowadays because there is already a 5% tax rate on the supply of foods in most of the cases and therefore practically this scheme is not applicable for the service provider the benefit is only for the trader or the manufacturer of goods there are certain category of people who are not eligible for composition levy there are basically six categories the first is a casual taxable person or a non resident taxable person the second is the supplier of services other than the supplier of food and drinks so all other services are not covered under the composition levy the supplier of the non taxable supplies which are not covered under the gst acts so for example alcohol or the petroleum products which are not covered under the gst act they shall not be covered under the composition levy as well then interstate supplies of goods are also not covered then the supplier of goods through an electronic commerce operator who is required to collect tax at source under section 52 they are also not covered and finally manufacturer of certain notified goods for example ice cream and other edible ice whether or not containing cocoa pan masala and then tobacco and manufactured tobacco substitutes these manufacturers are also not covered under the composition levy 
in addition to this there are other conditions as well which also must be complied by the composition dealers that is all the registered persons having the same permanent account number have to opt for composition scheme if one registered person opt for a normal scheme other become ineligible for composition scheme so you don't have the option that for certain units you opt for composition scheme and for others you don't so this is a very important thing you should know then the option availed by a registered person shall lapse with effect from the date on which the aggregate turnover during a financial year exceed the prescribed limit and here the aggregate turnover means the aggregate turnover on the national basis so suppose you are having units in different different states then the sum total or the total turnover has to be counted in that particular financial year then fresh intimation is not required every year if you have given that you have opted for composition scheme it will continue to be operational for the subsequent financial year as well unless you have crossed that limit a taxable person opting for composition levy shall not collect any tax from his customers nor should take any credit of input tax so this is a very important feature of composition levy number 1 whenever you will issue an invoice you will not collect any tax from the customer and number 2 that you will not be able to take any input tax credit whichever you are using for manufacture or supply of the items therefore these composition dealers must not issue any invoice they should rather issue a bill of supply so friends today we have learned about the salient provisions of the composition levy we shall learn about the registration provisions in the subsequent lesson thank you very much for watching the video